In 2018, the Weaver State football team proved that history can repeat itself. After a record-setting and historic year in 2017, the Wildcats repeated history in 2018, winning another Big Sky Conference title and adding to the legacy of the Wildcats senior class. Head coach Jay Hill returned for his fifth season with the Wildcats, and Weaver State was ready to face those high expectations in 2018. The season began just down the road at the University of Utah, where the Wildcats opened the 2018 season against the Utes from the Pac-12 Conference. The Cats jumped out to an early 10-0 lead before Utah pulled away. The following week, the Wildcats were again on the road, heading to Cal Poly to take on the Mustangs. Weaver State picked up its first win of the season with a 24-17 victory at Cal Poly as freshman running back Josh Davis, playing in his first game of the season, rushed for 177 yards and two touchdowns in the victory and was named the National Freshman of the Week. Wildcats returned home for the first game of the year at Stewart Stadium as Weaver State welcomed in nationally ranked South Dakota. The defense dominated the game with a fumble recovery for a touchdown by Landon Stice to jump out to an 11-0 lead. The defense recorded eight sacks and forced three turnovers and held South Dakota to just 28 rushing yards in the game. The eight quarterback sacks were the most in a game by a Wildcat team in seven years. The next week, the Cats were back home for the Big Sky opener against Northern Colorado. Weaver State turned back the clock to 1968 for the 50th anniversary of the Wildcat team that won the Big Sky title, and WSU donned the throwback jerseys and the Go W helmet. As was the theme all season, the Wildcats focused on all three aspects of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. And in the 45-28 win over the Bears, the Wildcats used all three of those aspects. On offense, Weaver State totaled 410 yards of total offense, with 224 of those yards coming on the ground. Josh Davis broke off a 95-yard rushing touchdown in the first quarter for the third longest run from scrimmage in school history. On special teams, Rashid Shahid took the opening kickoff for the second half and returned it 100 yards for a touchdown, his second career 100-yard return. Defensively, the Wildcats held the Bears to just 97 yards in the second half and had two interceptions, four sacks, and one forced fumble. Keelan Benjamin and Jeremy Maxwell each had an interception for Weaver State. The win moved the Wildcats to 3-1 and one heading into the bye week. However, when they returned to action, the Cats suffered a 28-24 loss at Northern Arizona despite an 86-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown by Preston Smith, one of six turnovers forced by the WSU defense. Touchdown, Weber State! Weber State got back on the winning track the following week with a 14-6 victory over third-ranked Eastern Washington on homecoming at Weber State. Josh Davis had a 75-yard punt return for a touchdown. Then Jake Constantine found Rashid Shahid for a 38-yard score. The Wildcat defense held one of the best offenses in the country to just 62 yards rushing. WSU also held the Eagles without a touchdown for the first time in 10 years. The Cats were right back at home the next week and picked up a 34-24 win over Montana State. WSU trailed 17-7 early on, but Treshawn Garrett recorded three touchdowns and Trey Tuttle added two field goals as the Cats finished the game with 17 unanswered points to secure the win. Weber State hit the road at North Dakota and came away with a 35-30 thrilling win over the Fighting Hawks to improve to 4-1 in Big Sky play. The Wildcats had their best offensive showing of the season, totaling 450 yards. 
Jake Constantine threw for a career-high 318 yards and two touchdowns and ran for another score and was named the Big Sky Player of the Week. Senior Darrell Denby had two touchdowns and 107 receiving yards in the win. The calendar turned to November as Weber State began the month with a 26-14 win over Sacramento State. Prior to the game, WSU honored its 16 seniors in their final regular season home game. The win over the Hornets was historic for the Wildcats as Weber State moved to third of the nation in the Stats FCS poll, the highest national ranking in school history. As the season drew to an end, the Wildcats were chasing a Big Sky title and faced two rivals to end the year. Weber State went back to Southern Utah and defeated the Thunderbirds 31-18 for their third straight win in Cedar City. Josh Davis rushed for a career-high 225 yards and two touchdowns and again was named National Freshman of the Week. The WSU defense also had four sacks and nine tackles for loss in the win. For the final regular season game, history was on the line as the Cats traveled to longtime rival Idaho State. Another strong game by the Wildcat defense included 13 tackles for loss and seven sacks, including three straight sacks in the fourth quarter. all told to a 26-13 win over the Bengals, which secured a 7-1 Big Sky record and a second straight Big Sky Conference title for the first time in school history. It also gave the Wildcats the automatic berth into the FCS playoffs and their third straight playoff appearance. The next day, Weber State was awarded with the number two seed in the FCS playoffs and received a bye for the first time ever. WSU open playoff action on December 1st, hosting Southeast Missouri State. The offense had 409 yards and scored its most points of the season in a 48-23 victory over the Red Hawks. Jake Constantine threw for four touchdowns in the win, which was the seventh straight for Weber State. The win also gave the Wildcats 10 victories for the second straight season. That's for the first time in school history. The following week, Weber State hosted Maine in a nationally televised game at Stewart Stadium in the FCS quarterfinals. The season ended, though, with a tough 23-18 loss to the Black Bears, ending Weber State's season in the quarterfinals for the second straight year. It was another difficult way to end the season, but didn't take away from the accomplishments of another record-setting year. Multiple honors poured in for the Wildcats, Weber State had 19 players earn Big Sky All-Conference honors, including a record 13 players earning first-team honors. Keelan Benjamin, Josh Davis, Jawan Harrison, Brady May, Yosua Opeta, Jordan Prater, Adam Rodriguez, Rashid Shahid, Felipe Sitake, Landon Stice, LeGrand Toya, Ty Whitworth, and Jonah Williams all earned first-team honors for the Cats. Doug Lloyd and Trey Tuttle earned second-team All-Big Sky honors, Parker Prater and Austin Tesh earned third team honors, while Daryl Denby and Ben Boss received honorable mention, all conference honors. All America honors also came in for the Wildcats as seven Weber State players earned national honors. Senior offensive lineman Yosua Opeta was named a consensus All American as he was named to five different All America teams. In addition, seniors LeGrand Toya and Brady May earned first team All America honors. Rashid Shahid earned second team honors, while Adam Rodriguez and Felipe Sitake earned third team honors. Wildcat running back Josh Davis also earned All-America honors and received other historic awards. Davis won the Jerry Rice Award as the National Freshman of the Year, the first Wildcat ever to earn the honor. 
He was also named the Utah Male Collegiate Athlete of the Year as part of the Governor's State of Sport Awards. The 2018 senior class left an unprecedented legacy at Weber State. This group of Wildcats has done more than any other class in the history of the program and leaves as a group of players with the most wins in school history. Back-to-back -back Big Sky titles and three trips to the FCS playoffs have laid an incredible foundation for even more ahead for Weber State football. <laughs>